hi guys this is tina welcome back to my channel um so i'm here today just to do a pretty quick um video well hopefully it's going to be pretty quick i've been playing around trying to come up with some new kind of pocket um ideas now i am not trying to say that this is definitely new it's new to me i don't feel like i have seen anybody else do this but you know i may well be wrong it it might well be that I have seen people do this or you know not that I not that I have seen people do this but that people have seen have done it but I haven't seen them if that makes sense um right so basically what I've come up with is I love using these little um they're like a wage um envelope I think they're really kind of useful in um you know in journals and I've used some loads in the past, so I'm sure you've probably seen me use these in the past. Um, but what I kind of played around with was taking two. Now, I've talked about this before as well. I mean, if I do this, it's not complicated because I just do not do complicated things. Um, you know, my my dexterity is not that, you know, that I can do very precision kind of things and things like that um I like nice quick simple you know easy things to do so all I did was basically took two of these um you know wage envelopes like that now these are uh I don't think I've got the packet in anymore I wonder whether I have a ruler here hold on or just this um scrappy children's ruler uh, so this is kind of 10 centimetres by 11 centimetres. So that's the kind of size that it is. And basically, all I've done is kind of placed like one on top of the other. But in a way that we then end up with kind of three different pockets, if you see what I mean. So take your, your first envelope this one here and what I did was I tucked in this pocket here so and actually while I'm doing it we'll glue it oops glue it down because um, that's just going to kind of strengthen it which actually now I'm thinking about it I might do this slightly differently I hate I hate doing things um, where I change them midway through because I don't want to confuse anyone Right, so this one, I tucked it inside the envelope, but this time, let me, just, let me just check that this is going to work. Right, this time, I'm going to glue it down, I think, here instead, so that we've closed the envelope off like that. And then we're going to place the other envelope kind of on top. So actually, I'm going to have it this way round, I think. I'm going to have it that way round. Yeah, I'm going to have it that way round. So then you've got the thicker part at the bottom. So what I've done, I've taken this, this one here, glued down the side, and then I'm going to kind of open it up. So going as close as I can to the edge that I've just glued, we're going to kind of open it up so it's a little pocket. And I just literally snipped along as close to the edge as I could possibly get. So that's that one. Right, let me, let me concentrate. So that's that one. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take the next one and we are going to pop this tucky flap inside the envelope. This time in order to kind of strengthen it. So we're just going to tuck that in there. Just really doing this so that when we're using it as a pocket, it's just a little bit stronger. So, you know, that's the only reason that I'm doing that. So press it down, make sure the glue is kind of, you know, smoothed out. So we've got a pocket now in the side like that. And we've got a pocket here on that side, like that. And then all I'm going to do is glue one envelope on top of the other. 
on three sides, leaving the top side completely open. So I come down here like this. Just pop it down like that. So press it down, making sure it's nicely glued. And then what you should have is just like your square kind of envelope, but you've then got a top. Obviously, I don't really want to open it too much because it's, you know, the glue's not dry. But you've got a top loading pocket and then you've got two side loading pockets. So you've got one that side and then you've got one that side. So... I know that I did kind of confuse that slightly. So should we do another one just so it's kind of really, you know, hopefully kind of um, making a bit more sense. So we're going to take our first envelope and we're just going to glue the flap closed. Like that. Oops. And then we're going to take the second one and we're going to this time glue the flap inside here. So literally just kind of gluing the flap down inside the envelope. So tucking it inside like that. Okay. So that's our two side pockets. So we've got one here for that side and then we've got one potential one here which we haven't obviously cut yet so we're just going to take the scissors cut it as near to the edge as we can Oops. like that and I've probably now got glue oozing out gluing it closed this is not a great tutorial is it so I do apologize <laughs> right oh come on Oh gosh, right. My glue has obviously now worked a bit too well and it's actually glued the envelope now completely closed. So, oh gosh. Well, if nothing else, this is illustrating. Oh, I was going to say illustrating how you can still use everything, but maybe I will, maybe I'll have to. Uh, <laughs> Reevaluate that. Perhaps we'll just let's get rid of this one. Let's do this one again. Right. I don't know what went wrong that time. So right, let's try again. We're going to cut that one, or we're going to stick that one down. So this is going to be our back, back part of the pocket. So we're going to cut it down, nice and close to the edge like that. Open the flap. That time it's obviously worked nicely. I haven't glued it together. <laughs> right. And then we've got obviously our top one. And then all we're going to do is place one on top of the other like that. So again, I'm going to glue them on three sides like this. And just kind of go down that edge. And then we're going to glue them on here like that. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we've done that one as well. So as you can see, we've got obviously two side pockets. And then a top loading pocket as well. Obviously that glue needs to dry now. So let's take one that is dry. So I'll use the kind of initial one here. So, and as you can see, that's got the top loading pocket there. And then obviously you can just decorate those up to use on your journals. So for this one, I'm just going to take some 
paper that I've got kind of just laying around here. Uh, I wonder whether I could just use that. Not sure. Hold on. Just trying to kind of use up things that are laying around rather than cut into a whole fresh sheet of paper, really. So, okay, might use this one. Might use that section there. So if I just cut that down like that. And just cut it kind of about here. Like that. Is that a bit strange because that's now on the diagonal? No, I think it looks okay. So then I'm just going to kind of trim this at the bottom because it's not very straight. It doesn't need to be too straight because I can always cover that up with um, a bit of lace or something like that. So I might just kind of rough up the edges a little bit. Like that. Like that. And then obviously we could layer that onto maybe some sheet music or something. So have a look and see whether I've again got any sheet music just laying around. Uh, I have, but I've glued it down so it's double thickness. So let me see whether I've got. Obviously, this isn't kind of big enough to actually kind of mat the whole lot, but I don't think that really matters too much. So um, let's just tear that down like that. Let's tear it across. Might have that kind of there. Whoops. Kind of something like that. Okay. Then we'll just glue this down. I'm just going to take a bit of black ink and decorate that up. So what I'm going to do is take my fine corner stamp, love using this, but I'm going to try and stamp it around quite a bit, so not just in the corners. So I'll start in the corner and then if I need to kind of use it in the middle to bridge the gap, if you see what I mean, so that I've covered the entire kind of background like that so I'll just run a bit along here like that a bit more there and I'm just using the straight edge of this corner stamp to like build it up if you see what I mean and then I'm going to place that there so what I'm going to do is what I've been doing recently again is um, just kind of finishing the piece off just going around the edge with my black stays on just because it kind of frames it then and gives it a bit more like dimension really so I'm going to kind of use that there and I might just tear out a word And then um, now, I'm trying to find something to pop the word on. So I've got some lace here. This is some um, neck curtain. So again, it's some kind of vintage neck curtain, not hugely vintage, but it's more of my Nan's neck curtain. But this is different to the other 
neck curtain that I had from her before. Um, yeah. My nan kind of moved from um, her house to, is she's still kind of living unaided, but it's just got, um, it's like a warden assisted flat where just kind of a warden pops in a couple of times a day. Um, you know, once in the morning, once in the evening, and um, just checks that everything's okay. So obviously when she moved from her house, she had, you know, like her neck curtains and things like that, um, that she'd had in her whole house. I mean, it wasn't a very big house, but you know, she obviously had a few windows compared to obviously her flat where it's tiny. So, um, my nan's 105 would you believe it was her birthday last weekend and um yeah she's 105 so uh she's doing pretty well to still be able to live kind of as unaided as she does um yeah so she had to move really because she was living quite a long way from everybody and so no one was able to kind of look after her in the in terms of you know popping in just to make sure she was okay I mean she doesn't really need looking after per se you know um but no one was there at all so she would go for like two weeks without actually seeing anybody actually I've got this word Paris which I prefer to use so I might just use that um yeah she'd have a couple of weeks go by where obviously kind of no one visited her because um she was quite a way away so it's much better now because she lives quite close by and um, you know people can kind of pop in just to make sure she's doing okay really um, you know plus obviously she must have been a bit lonely kind of you know living where she lived um, but she resisted as long as she could because she obviously didn't want to leave her her home which she'd obviously lived in for years and years and years you know she lived there with my granddad and he passed away oh, quite a long time ago, kind of over 20 years ago now. Um, you know, so she obviously didn't really want to leave her home that she obviously had been very happy living in. But in the end, it just became that, you know, it wasn't really very practical for her to kind of stay there. So, um, you know, she kind of had to move really. And it's much better, and I think she's probably glad that she did move now. So, hopefully. She does say she really likes her flat, so, you know, if that's anything to go by, she obviously, she does like it there. And it's got quite a few things going on. They have, like, lots of coffee mornings and that kind of thing. So she seems like she's out, <laughs> you know, really often all the time. So um, that's really nice for her. And she still likes going out, you know, she wants to be going out all the time. So again, that's really nice that she's still, you know, fully able to kind of do all of those things. Because obviously a lot of people, by the time they would get to her age, wouldn't really necessarily kind of be able to still be doing things. She does walk with the Zimmer frame now. Um, she can walk without it, but obviously she's a little bit unsteady. So it's just safer if she walks kind of with it. But I mean, she potters around her her flat without it. You know, she doesn't need it all the time. But when she goes out, when she goes to like the little coffee morning thing, which is just in the little complex where her flat is, then she does... Um... Actually, I'm going to put it on that side, I think. Then she takes her Zimmer frame, obviously, with her. Just kind of keeps her safe, really. So, um, oops. There we go. And she has obviously meals delivered and things like that. So, you know, although she's living kind of independently, she's being looked after as well. So that's, that's nice. She's got like the best of both worlds, really. Now I'm just seeing whether I've got any bling that I obviously love using. So I've got some here, so I'll just trim a couple of pieces down. I 
can't believe it's Friday already. The time just flies so quickly, doesn't it? And, you know, before you know it, the weekend's here again. So, and obviously it was nice because um, it's uh, been a short week because it was bank holiday, but I have been busy this week at work. So, uh, but I've just literally, just that second got in, just wanted to cram in a quick video. And then I've got um, a couple of other things to do. I've got a mini album that I just want to kind of um, personalize, just pop in the name on there. So I'll try and do that this evening, um, you know, rather than tomorrow. I didn't think I would have time to do a video at all today, um, but I managed to kind of sneak off, managed to kind of get through everything quicker than I expected, so I managed to get out. So that looks really pretty, I think. And then what you could obviously do as well, so if we just kind of show just in the pockets, so just trying to grab like a couple of bits here so you've obviously got the pocket here try not to kind of disturb the bits I've just glued because I know they're not really dry so you've got a pocket there and then you've got a pocket here you know these are just obviously things laying around my desk they're not necessarily things that I would have put in the pockets and a pocket at the top so and if I just pull a journal in just find a blank page now this journal's filling up because it's nearly finished now so I haven't got many blank pages left but just to kind of show you how that would look so obviously you could have it like that and then you'd have obviously your pocket there your pocket there your pocket at the top and obviously you know you could do it as a tuck spot and then you'd have obviously a tuck behind it as well you know, so you could actually have kind of potentially, just going to check them in frame because I had a horrible feeling I wasn't then. Um, so then you've got potentially kind of four places to be, you know, tucking things in, which is pretty cool, isn't it? You know, or you could have it kind of at the top or, you know, higher on the page. And obviously then you could glue it on the three sides. And then you could have it as a like bottom loading pocket. So then you've literally got things coming out from all four sides of there. Um, you know, so I think you've got kind of potential different kind of ways of, of using that and kind of having that pocket. So, you know, I'm not trying to claim that it's, you know, never been done before. I have never seen that done before. Um, and I just thought that was kind of cool. You're just using literally two envelopes, um, you know, so it's pretty easy to put together. But you've got then tons of different kind of spaces you know and also just before I quickly go I was you know determined to keep this down to a really quick video so I'm not going to kind of drag it on and on and on but just to kind of illustrate you could also potentially kind of have something tucked in so I'm just having a look again for something that's a bit of a scrap here um oh, I wonder if I could just use this piece here so what you could do, if I just cut this kind of down, you could have even kind of, I mean obviously this needs trimming down, but what you could do, let's, let's trim it down, let's actually kind of do it properly while I'm while I'm doing it anyway right that still might not be quite small enough but what you could do is obviously pop in a little kind of folding flap as well so you could have a folding flap your pocket your other pocket your top pocket and then this would still be a pocket behind your flap so, you know, there are kind of, I think, quite a lot of different um, potential kind of, you know, ways to use this. So I hope you liked it. Um, I think it's quite, quite a fun um, kind of pocket. And yeah, hopefully I will be using a few of these. So 
hope that you found it interesting and useful and I will see you all again soon. Thanks very much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.